Good morning. Uh, no, it's afternoon. It's 12.01 on my clock. So good afternoon, beautiful people. Happy Wednesday, March 15th. Sorry, April 15th. March 15th is when all this started uh, for me. That was day one. I remember coming home and uh, posting, posting a post about this is about to get real, and uh, here we are a month later, <clears throat> April 15th, Wednesday, for those that are playing the at-home version of the game. Uh, it is uh, day five of Don't Make Assumptions. So that means that it is day 26 of this journey, thinking about thinking, understanding fear, uh, really getting to the root of what... Uh, what I've coined radical understanding. And that is uh, the ultimate goal, I think, for all of us is really answer the questions of who am I, who are you, and how do we fit into this great tapestry that is life. So, how are you doing? It's another day. And as we continue on, don't make assumptions. We're building on history of fear, be good with your word, don't take anything personally and not making assumptions is huge for that. We, it, our brains are just wired this way that we have the tendency to make assumptions about everything. That is just how we work, even as simple as the weather. You know, you look outside, it's cloudy, and you just instinctively know that it's, you know, maybe rain, maybe, well, today was snow. I woke up to a blizzard, that was fun but we make these assumptions. And then the problem with making assumptions is we then believe them to be true because that's the story we tell ourselves. We tell ourselves stories to fit in the gaps and then we believe the stories we tell ourselves. And uh, I don't know, there's a podcast I was listening to on the weekend and they were talking about certain heads of state and a particular head of state uh, I would say, you know, is pretty out there with all of uh, their tweets and comments. But the reality is, is that person has probably been telling himself stories since the day he was born. And he believes everything he has tells himself. Now, the good thing is the majority of us don't believe anything he says, but that's still his journey. So we make assumptions, we then believe them to be true. But what where the problems lie is when we make assumptions about what others are doing or what others are thinking. That's to me is probably the, the biggest challenge is when you make assumptions about what someone else is thinking. And then we take it personally. We make an assumption about what another person is thinking and then we take it personally. We blame them for what they may or may not have done and then we take it personally. We make, you know, the cliche, mountains out of molehills, and usually we create conflict when there's no conflict in the first place by making assumptions and taking things personally. But one of the challenges is we're so afraid to ask for clarification. We're afraid to ask questions. We're afraid to ask questions for understanding. And again, that starts from the time we were three, four years old. And I know in my own journey, I've had these moments where I've actually gone back and thought about, you know, being a four-year-old child and having that natural curiosity and asking the questions, you know, why is it like that? And then being told, don't ask questions. And that's really what our school system is all about, is we squash, suffocate, uh, creativity and curiosity from a young age. And there's a Bible verse um, that talks about uh, be childlike or, or let the children, or the children will be first. I can't remember the exact verse or quote. But it really truly is to encourage that, that childlike curiosity, that awe and wonder about all things. And if you're curious and you ask the questions, then you can't make assumptions. And if you don't make assumptions, then you don't take anything personally. And you really free yourself from
from so much conflict, so much emotional turmoil, and so much negativity. <clears throat> and I will find the Bible verse I wanted to quote, and I'll include in the comments. So until tomorrow, I encourage you, find one thing and just catch yourself and ask the question of yourself, am I making an assumption about this? If the answer is yes, ask for further clarification. And you'll be amazed at what you can do. I love you all. I hope you all have an amazing day ahead. Um, <clears throat> I really hope the snow stops because it's not key for me. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And until tomorrow, be safe. Reach out to someone maybe you haven't connected with or maybe someone that, you know, the path was rocky in the past. Be authentic. Don't make assumptions. Don't take it personally and ask for clarification. And as I've ended every single Facebook Live, wash your hands.